Okay, I know you guys have heard a million stories about my childhood movie watching and how my mom used to like drive me to the mall and drop me off so I could watch Gates of Hell and stuff like that. She didn't do it on purpose. She didn't know what she was getting into. She just didn't do the proper research, which is awesome because otherwise I would have missed out on these. But the one thing, when I, even when I was like a little kid, made for TV horror movies were my favorite. Stuff like Gargoyles and Kill Dozer, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. All those awesome movies that the only way you got to see them was when they would do a repeat on like ABC at like midnight and you'd sneak downstairs and your parents be watching and you'd be looking through the, the crack in the couch, you know, trying to catch little bits of stuff and then your mom would hear you and she'd yell at you and then you'd do it again and then dad would get pissed and he'd hit you in the face in a drunken rate. Oh wait, no, 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 I don't want to bring up those memories again. But Every once in a while, one slipped through the crack, right? In this case, The Possessed. I never even heard of this movie till one day I was on the Warner's Archive site. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's like a like video or like DVD on demand type of thing where they, they're only making like little bits of it. They don't sell it at the stores or anything. You just order it and you get it. And it's okay. It's a little expensive, but there's a lot of cool stuff in there. And there's a ton of made-for-TV stuff. And that's where this was. I'm like, okay, so it's like an exorcist clone set in an all-girls school with a, with a priest who lost his faith who has to come in and save the school because for some reason people are just like spontaneously combusting. And who has a, has a small guest star? Harrison Ford, and he's right on the back of the box, and of course you think he has like a giant part, but he only has like 10 minutes, and he's screwing one of the, like the girls that go to a school in his biology class, which of course now would be frowned upon, and I don't think they would actually have that in the movie. But back in the heyday of the 70s, once again, 1977, when anything goes, including Harrison Ford having sex with 16-year-old kids, it's okay. Actually, I think she's probably 18, she was graduating. So anyway, you got this all-girls school, right? And you can tell it's like progressive because they ride their bikes around in the hallways, and like the kids smoke and nobody yells at them. Everybody smokes in this damn movie. That's the other thing, man. You watch a 70s movie, and People have cigarettes in their mouths all the time. I don't know how every single actor who acted from like 1971 to 1978 is just not dead right now with crazy black lungs and like just a cloud of smoke coming out of their grave because everybody, seriously, watch this movie and tell me that like every other scene, somebody doesn't have a cigarette in their mouth. So anyway, all of a sudden, like these fires start happening around the school. Now this is when I'm gonna start getting a little freaked out, right? They're doing their graduation practice and the girl who's like giving the, the commencement address is up there. She's like, welcome ladies and gentlemen to our graduation. And all of a sudden her robe catches on fire for no reason whatsoever. It's not like she's standing by a candle and just backed into it. No, her robe catches on fire, catches her legs on fire. They're all running around screaming instead of like throwing her on the floor and rolling her like you're supposed to. But eventually they do get the fire out. And then she ends up being stuck at a hospital with her legs in this water and the priest comes to see her and he's like, so what happened? And she's like, I don't know, all of a sudden I was on fire. I want to get a key to the chapel and I want to see your daughter's room. Excuse me, what was my daughter hiding? Was it a big secret? Not so big, plain sight. She was out studying using the bio lab. Well, why wouldn't she tell me that? Did you believe her? I believe much of what she said, yes. What didn't you believe? No, it's not that. I don't believe everything anybody says. You're a cynic. I'm beyond that. You were a priest, weren't you? I was a minister, yes. And you left it. You lost your faith. I was kicked out of the church. I drank too much. I lusted. I was an adulterer. And other things. You weren't a priest, were you? <laughs> I believed in the bread and the wine. And now? You don't believe in anything? I believe in evil, and that it could be taken on. this man that I was late the other night and that I came to see you about exams. I know. Now, how do you know? I know everything. Except I almost got fried the other night. How come you didn't mention that? Ah, oh, that. Listen to her. Well, I'm not scared. That I know. <laughs> Easy, Mr. Louise. Ah, oh, don't call me that. Wheezy, then. Not that either. I hate them both. Well, make up a new name, then. Millard Fillmore. 
Look, in 10 days, you're going to be out of here. Then what? I made no promises. In fact, you told me not to. Yeah, I know. Let's go in the back room. And I'll teach you about the chicken and the egg. Which comes first? The girl steals my lines. Yeah, well, you stole something of mine. Oh, wait a minute. Who seduced who? It was a tie. You're irrepressible. How come you're leaving? Is it because of her, Paul? Who, her? You know. No, I don't know what you're talking about. You do, too. Maybe I'm leaving because of you. I wish. Well, and it's true. I hate you. Wheezy. Way. Okay, one fire I could live with, right? Okay, shit happens. Stuff sometimes just catches on fire. Well, then the next time that you're stuck in a room and your room catches on fire and you can't get out because the door's magically locked and you can't even open it from the inside and you're freaking out because you think you're going to die from smoke inhalation or, or third degree burns or something. And then finally somebody comes along and they like let you out. It's like, okay, now there's probably something wrong. And then the biology teacher that you're having sex with catches on fire right after you gave him a big tearful hug because he's leaving from school and you're not going to have to have sex with him anymore. And he just bursts into flame and then you're locked inside the room while you watch him burn. Guess what? There's something wrong with your school. You should probably do an investigation on the people that are at your school and find out who has crazy demon possession in their past. You don't, and you got this priest like coming around, he like, die, like he almost dies in this car accident and he loses his faith and then he becomes an exorcist. I don't know how that works because I'm thinking, you know, I want my exorcist to actually believe in God because if he's going to show up and try to get rid of a demon, I don't want him doing it half-assed, right? I don't want some good dude showing up. He's like, I don't know if I really believe in the devil, so I don't know if you... No, I want the dude to know that there's a devil inside me. He's freaking making me vomit and catch things on fire, and he's like turning my face all weird so that I look like a boy on the cover of this video even though I'm a girl, and I had no idea who the killer was because I thought it was a guy and it wasn't. I'm not spoiling anything. You'll be able to figure out. It's made for TV movie. If you can't figure out, if you are not advanced enough at this age, to watch a made-for-TV movie in 1977 and not figure out who the damn killer is in like five seconds, you should not be watching made-for-TV movies from the 70s. That's just the way it is. But for a bad made-for-TV 70s movie set in an all-girls school where everybody's catching on fire, it's just fine. So if you really want to watch this, war, check the Warriors Archives things. It's possessed. Harrison Ford's in it, so it's okay. <laughs>